Hey, it's Benji Cole, son of Al Cole from CBS Radio and host of People of Distinction. The talk that gives an in-depth view of some of the most dynamic, intelligent, and successful people on the planet. Run to our website, peopleofdistinction.org, for more info. Or you can always email me directly at benji at alcoholenterprises.com. And on the line with us today, we have Michael Springthorpe. We'll be discussing his fantastic book, A Frog in His Really Cool Sandals, available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. And guys, Michael was brought to our network, People of Distinction, today by some of the best movers in the business. Author Reputation Press Publishing. So if you have a book that you'd like moved, do yourself a favor and contact ARP. And you can find out more information on them at authorreputationpress.com. And guys, listen, it is an absolute pleasure to have Michael here on the line, okay? His book we're going to his book we're going to be discussing today. Right there in the title, I, I'm not going to lie, I the title is really what gets me. I mean, instantly, before even going into the narrative itself and the great underlying message that it discusses, <laughs> I just love the title, A Frog in His Really Cool Sandals. I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome. It makes me smile the moment I say it. The moment I go to his Amazon page, Barnes & Noble page, and I started doing any research on it, and I, I realized what the book entailed, the message behind it is so profound, and it's such a great book, really, for all ages. Now, one thing that Michael is going to talk about, and he's the expert, so he's going to be able to articulate everything much better than I ever could. But a big thing that he really wants to make sure that everybody understands, and I had to learn this myself, is it's not a children's narrative. Now, when I initially had gone to his Amazon page, I... Like so many of you, I'm sure, instantly, just because of the cover and because of some of the colors that are infused within the book cover, I I assumed that this was a children's narrative. Well, guess what? It's not. Now, children, of course, can benefit from this, but it's not solely for them. People of all ages, young adults, adults, teenagers, can all benefit because the underlying message, one of the underlying themes, is it's all about expressing the importance of developing a relationship with God. Now, what does God have to do with a frog with some really cool sandals? Ah, I'm intrigued, all right? And I know you all are as well. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Michael, first and foremost, welcome to People of Distinction, and thank you so much for being a guest. How are you, man? Good. Yeah, great. Thank, thank you for the invitation. I'm happy to be here. Absolutely. 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 Well, listen, the pleasure is yeah. all ours, and we love having authors here on the network. We're always looking for new and exciting books and journeys to embark upon, and we were very excited when this book came across our desk. So, Michael, the, the pleasure is all ours. Now, before we go into the book, I know we have so much information to cover, but let's hold off slightly. Start by telling our listening audience a little bit more about yourself and your background, please. Well, yeah, I uh, came uh, to America and uh, my homeland, uh, some time ago, and uh, uh, later on, uh, met my wife Kate, and uh, she wasn't my wife then, but uh, subsequently we <laughs> we married and uh, have been uh, residing in uh, California since. Michael, thank you very much yeah. for sharing. Listen, without further ado. A Frog in His Really Cool yeah. Sandals. Tell us a little bit more about your book. Well, I, uh, I'm i not really sure where the, the title was, uh, came from, but uh, it everything unfolded from uh, considering his uh, uh, stroll in the, through the, the township on that morning and uh, everything just evolved from there, but the actual the title, I'm uh, never really sure where that came from. 
an inspirational moment or otherwise, but uh, world evolved, this mythical world, or or this, uh, and uh, mm -hmm. then, then I got halfway through it, and uh, good friends of mine uh, suggested that it was was good, but uh, needed to be resolved, <laughs> and. Uh, Different uh, aspects of the story needed to be drawn out, so I, I continued on and did uh, it. And then, I, with the help of uh, Enrique Arvena, who's a great painter from Brazil, he contributed these um, illustrations. Uh, it took us a while to to figure out which which ones and where. That was a pretty long process in the pre-production, but uh, worked out great. I just thought his originally thought his sense of color and uh, was something that would greatly benefit the book's uh, reception. And uh, mm -hmm. now, Michael, we, let's go a little bit more in depth with the narrative itself. So, of course. We know right there in the title, a frog in his really cool sandals. The moment we go to this Amazon page, the Barnes & Noble page, we see that book cover, and there is a massive frog right there on the front of it. Now, I'm assuming the frog is your main protagonist in the in the story, and do we follow him around as he or she uh, relates to the townspeople talk to us a little bit more about the narrative itself and the journey that we will bark embark upon once we pick up the book yeah well the, uh, the actual cover is is a kind of inciting incident of the of the story in that uh, i won't say why but he is on he's attempting to resolve this uh, great trauma that's occurred to him and uh, that's and he's uh, is running to the destination uh, on the on the beach from his uh, humble abode uh, up in the mountains, and it, it is uh, following him. Uh, and then is uh, with the the uh, the loss, uh, the great loss that he suffers. There's the deep grieving that he goes into. Over time, uh, and and then there is a further revelation that uh, in the intermediate period of uh, of his uh, in this period of his uh, loss uh, begins a, a whole uh, denigration and a whole uh, trauma uh, in the town in the country itself in the. And uh, from earthquakes to crops, crop failings, and a myriad different culminating in a plague. Uh, is, uh, none of these things. He's kind of lost in the trauma of his uh, of uh, with his sandals, uh, the trauma with his sandals, and uh, doesn't perceive that there may be some kind of uh, connection. Between these uh, these traumatic events and uh, and the loss of the sandals, so once he perceives that this may be maybe some kind of connection here, uh, and then he oh oh he has the dream, it's right, yeah. and uh, <sighs> yeah. In this dream, he uncovers uh, furthermore of of what has happened, why it's happened, and and, and sets out in pursuit of a resolve of the, the loss and uh, the connection with all the country's trauma. Again, uh. here in the line with Michael Springthorpe. We're discussing his book, A Frog in His Really Cool Sandals, available for purchase through Amazon as well as barnesandnoble.com. Now, Michael, as we continue on here, let's go into the concept of inspiration. 
Uh, first and foremost, have you always seen yourself as a writer? Is this something you've always wanted to do and embark upon? Where does this love for the creative writing come from? Uh, yeah, well, I uh, I have uh, always uh, words, I suppose. Uh, it's more the always uh, had a great uh, affinity, affection, or understanding of. Uh, language, English language, I uh, always wanted to express that. I always uh, had a need to express those things uh, in language or in music, uh, which is language too. Uh, and uh, oh, I feel uh, the language aspect of uh, it was uh, my previous uh, book, uh, Harriet's Journal, which is, uh, I think that is is, is uh, something where that was uh, became came to the fore a lot, uh, and uh, uh, yeah, my language uh, since uh, goes back to when I I pronounced to my mum when I was like four or something that my uncle who was a a police a police uh, a cop uh, in Australia very high up in the I was intrigued by the sound of the words uh, detective and which he was and a constable uh, I went and pronounced to mum that constable was wet and sloppy and detective was dry and hard I was she was kind of taken aback <laughs> but <laughs> but that to me was uh, an early example of that kind of uh, fascination with words that I had to put some kind of descriptive uh, uh, point a uh, descriptive uh, aspect on them and, uh, Michael great transition and, and a wonderful segue that you've established because you just brought up your other book, which actually was the first book that was written called Harriet's Journal. Now, we do have some yeah. uh, a few extra minutes here. So before we close out, I want to oh. give you an opportunity, get some extra marketing for your other book as well. Talk to us a little bit right. more. Uh, give us a description of Harriet's Journal. Yeah, well, it's uh, it evolved out of a, a true incident that, uh, in which... Uh, my wife and I uh, observed uh, the Harriet, excuse me, a possum uh, being hit by a car on a dark road. Uh, oh no! And uh, I was uh, remember seeing him out the window, sitting on his hind legs or her hind legs, pouring at the injury. The people who hit her didn't uh, even stop. Uh, it's just a possum kind of. Bullshit kind of deception. But anyway, that uh, I jumped out of the car and, and rescued her, and I pulled her, pulled her off the road. And then we went searching through uh, Los Angeles for a, a vet that would uh, take her and treat her for her obvious head injuries. And there were none available at that time, and I don't know, sir, because she was classified by them as a a wild animal or something. In other words, <laughs> exotic, exotic animal. That, uh, in other words, they weren't sure they were going to get paid <laughs> for treating. I don't know what the. There's a whole lot of mythologies about possums, also, which uh, into the human psyche that the nonsense and uh, about them having rabies and spreading disease, all that bollocks. Whereas, in fact, they're wonderful ambassadors uh, and wonderful. Uh, Game groundskeepers for and incredibly cute also and, uh, and anyway the long story short of uh, the injury was we bought a home and uh, over the period of uh, weeks uh, and with the help of one vet uh, in uh, Los Angeles we we nursed her back to full health and uh, the story evolved from. From there on, but uh, 
Oh wow! Excellent. And uh, I haven't. I was, I'm sort of due. I'm in the midst of writing a a second volume, which I uh, people have asked about it a lot, and uh, hopefully mm-hmm. I can. Uh, you know that's fantastic, Michael. And listen, that, but to, you know I'm yeah. recognizing a pattern here. We have Harriet's yeah. Journal, which follows a possum. And then, of course, we have the main yeah. book of today's interview, A Frog in His Really Cool Sandals, which follows a frog. Yeah. Michael, I'm going to go out on a limb here, yeah. but I'm going to guess you're an animal person. <laughs> well, especially being a person who's an animal, but <laughs> no, I, I certainly do love animals. Uh, no, that's a, that's a beautiful thing. I'm a huge animal person myself, and... As you stated, now there's going to be a sequel to Harriet's Journal as well. So, guys, there's so much to offer, right? There's so much to be gained. You know what you have to do. And really what I love so much about this is, listen, we're at the end of the interview now, okay? We've covered so much information, but yet we've barely scratched the surface, okay? There is so much left to be discovered. Amazon, BarnesandNoble.com are the places you have to go. A Frog in His Really Cool Sandals is the first book we discussed. But also, while you're there, look into his other book, Harriet's Journal, and make sure you're checking in frequently. Because as he just stated, there's a sequel on the horizon as well. So make sure you're checking in frequently to get that one as soon as it's available. And Michael Springthorpe is the author you have to thank for bringing these fantastic books to your table. Michael, this has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you once again for being a guest with us today on People of Distinction. That's great. It's been a wonderful uh, experience to talk with you.